Hello, good morning everyone. Back with me again, Adi from Black Soldier Fly Colony. Now, it's 9 a.m. here in my country. Today is harvest day and I will harvest one biopons here. The large of biopons here is one by five meters. So I have five meters squares of biopon or biopon here. And again, I will talk about the populations yeah, of uh, larvae per meter square. I made the populations around 20 kg per meter square. So from these five meter squares of biopons, I will get 100 kg of larvae every day. Look. I think millions more of larvae here for biopons here. I just harvest the biopon beside these ones. The day after tomorrow, I will harvest these ponds. So the larvae here is harvested in the old of 15 days. This is the day, the best day to harvest the larvae here in their age of 15 days. And we can use it directly, fresh larvae to your poultry, to your as animal feed, you want to process it into maggot meal or pellet, uh, you can store. Instead, you can store this product in the longer time, yeah, then you keep this fresh larvae. Yeah. Uh, we can still keep this larvae around five days yeah, uh, in fresh, but uh, you know, and we cannot keep it uh, too long in fresh because if we store this uh, fresh larvae too long, they will, their body size will shrink and dry and getting smaller day by day. And you know, the nutrient content will uh, reduce also, yeah? So harvest larvae and store in the long time is not good uh, in fresh, yeah? If you propose to store this uh, larvae, Better you uh, turn it into uh, dry larvae or uh, meal or pellets, yeah. So you can store it uh, longer than you put and store uh, the larvae in fresh. In my previous video, I talk about the relations about the populations and the uh, quantity of eggs we can spread per meter square, yeah. Please check the video and nutrient content of Larvae, it depends on the kind of uh, feed we give to the larvae. Yeah? Different kind of ways, different kind of food we gave to the larvae will determine the nutrient content of this larvae. Yeah? If we give them 100% of uh, fruit, in my experience, the protein content is around 30% uh, using market ways. It's contained of uh, protein of this larvae, as my experience, is around 25 to 30%. If you have um, like chicken ways, fish ways, it's a uh, high protein waste and also food waste, yeah. Of course, this kind of food will increase this protein content for this larvae. Guys, I got a lot of questions coming, yeah. Uh, talk about this BSF cultivations, but some of these questions actually answer. Uh, in my video, please check about the in my previous video where it contained a QA about black shoulder fly cultivation. You can check from the link above. I talk about the difference of uh, soldier fly larvae and uh, house fly larvae, and uh, and the, the other thing. Yeah, you can check uh, this video. Yeah, and perhaps some of questions of your questions is. Uh, answer already in this video. Please check this QA video. And um, 
I do thank you to everyone who has downloaded our ebook applications, ebook platform, yeah. And we got a lot of positive responses around the world, yeah, about this ebook platform. And today a lot of people st have started to do black soldier fly cultivation and they are assisted by our uh, ebook. And to know what our applications look like, you can check through the link above. I also write the link on the description column below. You can check what these apps look like and perhaps these apps also will help you to do uh, BSF cultivations, learn more about how to do step by step gradually and technically about uh, BSF, yeah. And also you can keep learning through this uh, channel, yeah. I will update frequently, but yeah, it's all depend on uh, my activity daily, yeah. Sometime I'm busy, so at that moment I will usually late upload and update my video. If we feed these larvae, from we move them to these bioponds until we harvest them, usually the thickness of the frass uh, from 100% the we give them uh, the food, yeah? not 100% will be consumed. Some of them will remain and some of this food will still remain here as a frass. Uh, and from we move them, uh, these larvae, to this biopon until we harvest them, the thick of the, the frass, usually around 10 centimeters like this, like, like this thick here. Yeah? When we harvest them, the frass is around uh, 10 centimeters. So, the thickness of this biopons wall like this. We can make it maximum in 20 centimeters, yeah, maximum. Less, if we want to make shorter, I suggest that the height of this wall of biopons is around 18 centimeters. So 18 centimeters to 20 centimeters, uh, the height of this wall of biopons is ideal, yeah. So not too thick, not too short. Also, you can make this biopon from this brick, from the brick like this, or wood, or any kind of material. I also uploaded and show in my several video, in my several previous video. Okay, guys, I will continue my activity here, and I just share in my vlog. I make this vlog playlist, yeah, to make me upload my another activity daily. Thank you, I hope this video is useful for you. There's something you can get from this video. And if you find this video is useful, maybe uh, it also will be useful for your friends, so don't be hesitant to uh, share this video. Okay guys, see you in the next video. Keep following my channel, my activity. Let's build the solutions. Uh, for our farming, our environment. Okay, guys, thank you, and see you in the next video.